my name is Cosmin Harangush. Uh, this talk was supposed to be uh, held by a colleague of mine, Paul, but uh, he just became the proud father of a young boy, so his priorities shifted overnight. <laughs> um, I'm the technical director for Around 25, a local company here in Cluj. Uh, and we specialize in building complex web applications uh, using the latest technologies. Um, over the past 10 years, we worked um, in the outsourcing industry for a lot of countries uh, all over the world, some of which are represented here uh, in this conference. Um, as well as built a few startups um, for for the U.S. market. Um, over the past two years, we focused on building our own uh, products and our own startups, and um, um, we uh, want to uh, have a, a shift in, in the company to move away from outsourcing to a product development agency and uh, focus more on uh, helping entrepreneurs uh, build their own ideas and turn them into, into something real. So that's what they'll do. I'll want to introduce you to Vlad. Uh, Vlad joined our team in the beginning of this year and as a as an office manager and HR specialist, um, he helped us um, deal with some of the internal paperwork any company has, <coughs> as well as organize a few meetups here in Cluj for uh, Full Stack Cluj. And one morning he had, uh, one day he had a brilliant idea. One of those ideas that comes only once in a lifetime um, he was uh, coming back from, uh, from the office, going home, and he wanted to clean his car. Um, and he went to three car washes, and they all had a long uh, queue, a long waiting line. So he thought, wouldn't it be nice to be able to go to a car wash without having to wait in line? Um, and he thought of an application to... Uh, book your appointment for uh, local car washes. Brilliant, right? Um, he came uh, the next day in, in the office and of course we were all excited about his new idea. Um, but nonetheless we uh, took it uh, further and started discussing about it and just to see what the potential is for, for his idea. Um, and we decided to uh, invest a bit of time, a, a day or so, just to analyze it and uh, uh, go further. So we set up and, and uh, started discussing, uh, building some sketches for what that uh, application could be. And we thought of an application that has displays a list of car washes, uh, you can see which are available, you can book uh, your reservation for, for that car wash at any time you, you want. And uh, we also thought about uh, how it can be used by the car wash owners and what their problems could be. Um, and for them we wanted to build um, an administration panel where they can manage all their appointments and uh, uh, better manage their uh, flow of cars and expenses. <coughs> and since the idea was so clever, we named it Clever Wash. Um, over the past uh, uh, few days, uh, we, we wanted to go and gather some, some real feedback um, one of us want, said 
let's take a step back from all this enthusiasm and uh, see if uh, this is uh, something uh, car wash owners really want and users uh, really want to use. Uh, so the next few days or weeks were not so fun. Uh, Vlad set out uh, to go to multiple car washes and gather their feedback from owners, see how they're, they're handling uh, reservations at this point. Most of them were using uh, phone reservations or didn't have reservations at all. So we just had that uh, continuous stream of cars waiting, but they also had a lot of problems with uh, having lots of users coming to the car wash at the same time and not spread out uh, during the day. Uh, users were very excited, they wanted this, they wanted to save time and not spend two hours at, uh, at the car wash when they, the car washing itself was like half an hour, 45 minute stops. Um, we had a bit of decision time to see if we wanted to invest more time in this based on the feedback we got. Um, and we were like, you know, will they won't they uh, kind of mood for the next few days till we decided, okay, based on the uh, feedback we got from the car washes, uh, car wash owners, and uh, from the users, we should. We can probably spend two months uh, invested in this. Um, the feedback was uh, very different from car wash to car wash. Uh, users, uh, some, some owners wanted a custom platform just for them. Some wanted uh, to double their prices for reservations, which it's kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, so we took all that feedback and threw it away. We decided, hey, let's build our own thing, ignore most of the feedback. Uh, but one thing we could not ignore was uh, this feedback. Users should be able to book from the web. We had a car wash owner that said, Okay, I like uh, your approach, I like that you're trying to build an application for this, but I want my users to, to be able to book from the web as well. I have my own website, um, I'll integrate this at, at some point, and I said, hey, we can't have that. Uh, let's uh, build him this, uh, this feature, but on our own platform and, uh, and using our own tools. Vlad was very adamant about adding this feature. Uh, so we built the mobile application and the, the website for reservations, as well as to make Vlad happy, add the call center, a num phone number where you can um, call and book your appointments just like the users were already used to. And in case you're wondering, the phone number was uh, 0364911, mainly because if Vlad didn't stop uh, nagging us, he would need to call an emergency number soon. Uh, so us developers were, were happy. We could uh, get uh, into the project, we could uh, build the architecture, think about the solution we we wanted to add, um, as well as start doing what we love. Um, so, at the same, we wanted uh, this project to be a bit uh, cheap from a management point of view. So we started with a few uh, interns, uh, actually our last year's interns, and. Uh, we wanted to use the latest technologies so they can learn them and better use them in other projects as well. Uh, but also treat, treat the 
the start of the idea as a real project, as an enterprise project. Mainly because we saw from our best experience that if you have, if you want to build a startup, you should treat it as seriously as possible, otherwise it, it will fail. So we had, uh, we created repositories on Bitbucket, uh, using uh, Gitflow uh, branching model. We had Jira tickets integrated, a confluence page for the documentation. Uh, and we pretty much, we were lazy about deployment, so we got two servers from the from a cloud provider and inst just installed Docker on them and said we don't need to installing software dependencies and other things on, 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 the, on our servers. We didn't want to manage that. So just Docker, Engine, and, and that's it. Uh, by the way, how many people have heard of Docker until now? Yeah, good. Have you used it? Okay. So uh, we had this environment, we had one server for uh, production and one for staging. We also didn't want to deal with manually deploying our code there. So we had uh, set up uh, Jenkins master and slave um, environment where the code was pulled from Bitbucket, built as Docker images, pushed to Docker registry, and then from, from there uh, taken and run on these servers based on the master branch and the uh, develop branch whenever we want to. We also went a step further and said, we don't want to look at server logs and other things. We just don't want to deal with those servers. So we migrated all, all the logs to an Elk stack using Elasticsearch to ban and log stash and had that uh, available to us whenever we want to see what's going on in the system. To check uh, if the servers are online, if uh, a user uh, booked a, a reservation, the status of that reservation, and so forth. Um, this allowed us to have a monitor in, uh, in the office where we, each day we could see how many appointments were made, um, how many were confirmed, uh, how many were declined, and so on. As well as the number of users registered and different other, other information. For the technology stack, we used uh, React all the way. Uh, the mobile applications were done using React Native. Uh, and the server side was uh, using Node.js. We wanted to use uh, Golang, but they, we built it with last year's interns, and they not, don't know the Golang yet. Uh, maybe in the future we can, we can make the switch. Um, back to Vlad, he went out and in discussing with, with clients, said that, um, oh, it's okay, it's, it's going to be available in, in about a month, without knowing anything about coding or uh, project management or anything. So he came back and said that to us, and we were like, uh, we're going to kill you. <laughs> um, and we almost did. He called the phone, the, the emergency number, the first time that day. Uh, we needed to also, in order to finish the project, we had to build two versions of the several applications, one for Android and one for iOS. Um, had different uh, user interfaces for, for each of them. Build the design for uh, the entire platform. Um, 
build a main website as well as the managing platform for the car washes and have all of that connected to uh, the car wash, the clever wash API, which was uh, built with uh, Node.js and everything DB. So a lot of work. Uh, luckily for us, we started with writing the documentation. We already had that covered uh, when Vlad came to us with uh, his wonderful deadline. Uh, a colleague of mine uh, wrote the documentation for the entire API, so everybody could work on their own sections without interfering with one another and keep uh, changing the, the specification all the time. Speaking of the team, we had Kaleen, our junior developer uh, from last year's internship. Uh, he wrote the entire documentation, uh, wrote the uh, Cleverwash API, as well as uh, the main website using React. Uh, Bianca, uh, again, our last year's intern, who worked on the mobile applications, Alexandra, who uh, designed the, the entire thing, and we uh, figured out that for any startup in the world, it's very important to have a designer you can collaborate e easily uh, with. Because uh, me, that's me, and I was the lazy one who didn't want to deal with deployments and uh, builds and all of that. And Paul and Vlad, who nobody knows what the, they actually did, uh, but they kept coming and changing features and designs and everything every day. We soon realized that nothing in a startup is set in stone. Uh, we migrated from version 1 of the application to version 2 very quickly. Uh, we're actually uh, launching version 2 uh, this month. Um, we had a lot of feedback coming from users about the um, interface, about how different issues they, they found, so we had to move quickly, and that set up with automatic deployment and uh, uh, working just with the code, not dealing with, uh, with the deployment, really helped. Um, we also changed the Cleverwash API from version 1 to version 2 right now, uh, where we implemented um, new features requested by Cleverwash owners, uh, things to make the process smoother for, for users, uh, and also our strategy when contacting uh, the car washes also changed. Uh, in the beginning, we were only talking to them about helping their users book appointments. Now we're also talking about uh, with them about, um, about how to manage their, their own business, how to help them um, extend their business and make it easier to, to deal with, um, how to manage their expenses, and so forth. Uh, we had uh, a lot of positive feedback until now. Uh, we had users who started using our application from the first few weeks. We were only launched a month ago. Uh, and uh, they kept coming back. Car wash owners were, were happy because they could offer more services to the users and uh, see a better, um, have, a, have a better way of managing those users and repeat customers. They want to add promotions and uh, different opportunities for them in the future. So a, so, uh, a software like this uh, will really help them, um, as well as continue growing the user base uh, with above 15% every, every week. 
we also had a few people that uh, came and tried to help us. Uh, of course, uh, that help was conditional about, on money, uh, as it always is. Uh, we had people trying to uh, help us with their uh, Facebook bots to integrate with this so that uh, users can um, use just chat with the Facebook bot and order uh, and book their appointments to, to the car wash as well as some a guy that wanted to uh, help us validate the idea uh, to create a link business uh, model canvas as well as uh, spot analysis uh, to see what are the uh, strengths and weaknesses of, of our product and how to uh, extend uh, our users and our message. Of course, only for $3,000 euros, actually. Uh, we said past for now, maybe later. Uh, admittedly, we didn't do that in the beginning. We were too excited uh, because it's hey, a great idea. Uh, but we did it, did it um, a few weeks ago and we realized that uh, there are much more opportunities here to spread our, our target, our, our message, and uh, what we offer for, for car washes. So that an analysis with uh, Lean Business Model Canvas was really helpful. So if you're trying to build a startup, you should definitely uh, write that down. And over the past uh, few years, we Clever Wash was not the first product we did. We built a mobile application called Bankomat. Um, it was the first application our colleague uh, Bianca did, um, and the first applica mobile application we did in our company. Again, as a test project, uh, but it allows you to see all, the, all ATMs around the country and their location, so you can find the closest ATM possible, as well as build a computerized management, maintenance management system for the local international airport. And uh, they plan to uh, expand that to other airports within the country. Uh, we built that using Node.js, microservices, and the, uh, MySQL. As well as we plan on launching MicroHub, which will be a platform for microservices uh, the next year, uh, where you can download or um, create custom builds of applications uh, that are ready to be deployed and, and used uh, in your own company. Uh, so this is a summary of Clever Wash, uh, what we did, uh, the, our offering, I welcome you to use the application and give us feedback. And uh, if you want to talk with us more about how to build a startup and uh, how to manage different uh, situations within a small startup, let us know. My name is Kosmin Harangosh, Technical Director for Round 25, and you can reach me at this, this email address and number. Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions? Yeah. Yeah? So, so um, I have some question about uh, the finance, so how did you finance this, and uh, second of all, so what is your business model behind it? Because it was um, quite techy, and but this is yeah also if you make a startup, this, this finance um, is also an important thing. Yeah. 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 Um, so first, um, about the um, 
So first question is how you finance it. So with internal money or you yeah, have it was money? it was financed with internal money. Uh, we tried to be very careful about um, how we advertise. We spent we put uh, two developers and our own resources in this project. Um, we were able to do that because our main business was and continue is outsourcing. So that. Uh, helped us have a little bit of money on the side to, to invest in this. Uh, as for the financials and the business model, that uh, uh, it, the application and uh, the front end part is uh, completely free for users to use, but we charge uh, car wash owners. Um, for each uh, for each appointment, uh, we also have different business models for if you want to manage your expenses and other paid services that we have in back and forth car wash owners. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. Um, do you plan to uh, expand in other cities, and uh, how and uh, if there is a calendar, how do you approach the expansion itself? Um, <laughs> yes, we plan to, to expand um, in, in other cities as first, not other countries. Um, we wanted to expand first in Bucharest, but uh, we had a few car wash owners that contacted us and uh, it evolved into something else and now uh, next week we're launching, uh, we're expanding to Zalo. We had a car washer owner that was enthusiastic and really wanted uh, this uh, this product in to be the first in his city with this. And again, we will expand there first and talk with other car washers there, uh, and then uh, uh, focus a little bit more on the local area because it's easier to go to. And meet this, uh, these people, these car wash owners, and only then move to, to other cities. I have a question. Why do you restrict uh, that to car wash? Is that such a specific um, thing? Or because, you know, from the outside, I don't know much about that business. It seems to be very generic, like somebody provides a service and somebody else is booking that service. Yes, it's, uh, it's very generic and it can be extended to other uh, domains as well. We plan to do that uh, in the future, but uh, for now we're focusing on, the, on this because it's a domain where uh, there's a lot of repeat work, so a lot of you have car washes that have uh, over 2,000 um, um, clients every, every month. And if you can expand that, and if you can uh, have um, a, a good reach for users and they book everything through our platform, then it will be very profitable for us as well. So we're focusing on this. Um, also because we had uh, the time to understand uh, what these car wash owners need and uh, work uh, on solutions designed for them in particular. And then uh, we'll see other business. We, ha uh, we saw a similar model uh, called uh, TaskRabbit in the US. Uh, they, they have a general uh, approach, but they also migrated to, or pivoted to something more focused on cleaning services, because it was too general and very hard to, to manage and maintain. So we took the approach the other way around. Thank you. Yeah? So uh, considering the, the car wash business uh, itself, 
Uh, when uh, the application will reach uh, the maturity level of usage in Cluj, let's say, yeah. um, how much uh, uh, many cooking could you expect uh, to have daily? Uh, well, the, the market is large. Um, average, it depends. If you get a high percentage of the market, then you can, you can talk about um, 10, tens of thousands of car washes per month, even more than that, considering there are uh, about 100 uh, car washes, no, maybe less, at least 30 car washes in, uh, in Cluj alone, uh, with a different number of, uh, of uh, spaces where you can wash the car, uh, boxes. Uh, and on average, uh, car wash with three boxes is doing like um, 1,500 1, or 1,500 uh, car washes a month. So it's pretty big, but uh, again, you have to be able to convince a large number of users. Until then, we are trying to um, raise awareness as well as convince uh, car wash owners to uh, use our other services specifically designed for, for them. Right now they're, they're all using uh, Excel to set uh, how much, uh, how many cars arrived and uh, what were the services they, they bought and uh, the price and everything. Uh, but they also have a problem with their employees because they sometimes don't add anything in that document and they just uh, take the money. Uh, so there are different issues to, to address there. Okay, thank you very much.